Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today I have a new fighter. You can see it in the background here, just absolutely dismantling one of my cyclones. This thing is a real killer, but why is it such a beast? Well, let me explain. A little while ago now, I made a video called Is It Too Good about my low-part fighter, the Mellifera, and I couldn't work out why it was such a high performer, why it was destroying absolutely everything else I'd made, and then I, I realised it was because the wings were made of a mod part which was, well, arguably overpowered, and I really wanted to make something to, uh, to beat it, so I thought, well, if you can't beat them, join them. I have created a fighter which uses every little hacky trick and exploit I could think of. Um, the alternative title for this video was Why I Don't Allow This Sort of Thing in Fighter Subscriber. Uh, this thing can beat the uh, beat the mellifera, but I have other fish I want to fry today. But first, let's go and see what makes this quite such an affront to any and all principles of realism. So what do we have in this little box of tricks? Well, there's a lot of clipping going on. First of all, this isn't one wing surface, it's two. Uh, talking of the wing surfaces, I've also got these other, this wing sandwich design, these other wings top and bottom both sides, just to make sure there is a lot of wing surface area in not very much actual surface area, making the whole thing smaller, more difficult to hit, more difficult to destroy. There's also a ton of wing surface area clipped into the fuselage, along with uh, a few control surfaces, just to help with the maneuverability and the balance of the thing. Uh, this isn't six control surfaces, Surfaces along the back wing here. No, that is actually 12. This isn't two, uh, one engine, it's two. Uh, what else? Yes, into the fuselage. I've clipped two of these ECM jammers away from harm. Uh, what else? I haven't gone for separate cockpit uh, air intake and radome parts. I just combined it all into one much more difficult to destroy part. Although this one isn't that difficult to destroy at 1100 hit points. I probably should have had a rummage around in some mods and found something a bit more difficult. Uh, overpowered parts. I have though I've gone for some extra things with the weaponry. Uh, the Ga two Gau 22s. That's not that impressive. I probably should have gone for four, lent into the whole overpowered thing a bit more, but when it comes to the missiles, yeah, here we're using the AIM-9Xs from the Kerbal Field mod. Much, much more powerful than the uh, the stock Sidewinders. Much more difficult to dodge. Um, yeah, uh, I just come to the end of building this and I suddenly re realised there was a whole bunch of other tricks I could have used. <laughs> But I think I think this is this is probably enough for one craft, and I'm not going to mention them because I don't don't really want to give people ideas. But uh, anyway, yeah, we need to we need to throw this thing into some combat and give it a thorough test. So for our first test, we are going to put our little dalliance with the dark side of fighter design up against my current best fighter, the Lynx. Let's um let's get this one going. And we are off and away. The hacks get round very quickly. Uh, this one's got a little bit of instability. That's my one worry these, with these craft. Oh, the is, uh, GT's wingman do seem to have managed to get their missiles away. GT himself appears to have been appears to be firing them at a, an unusual angle, given that the uh, the targets are over there. My one worry with this uh, with this craft, as I was saying, is that I haven't really spent as much time tuning it as I have the um, as I have the Lynxes. I think there's still a little bit of a problem in them. Possibly, maybe a little bit of an Achilles heel, but we'll have to see. GT Kerman uh, has a lock on one of the Sidewinders coming in for him and fires a missile. I don't know what he thinks that was going to do. Oh, there's a few coming very close here. Now the hacks get around. Now they are going to pepper their targets with uh, what should be a Fairly impressive barrage of missiles. They go flying back and forwards. Those AIM-9Xs do have a bit of a reputation. And straight away, one of the Lynxes has taken a pretty heavy hit. Which one was it? Uh, yeah, Bartnard and Kerman. I think he's in a. I think he's in a fatal spin. He's taking gunfire. Yeah. He's lost all engines, so it's only a matter of time before uh, before Bardnarden beats the beats the ground, and not on friendly terms. Let's see what's happening with our other lynxes. Oh, there's a joust going on. Steak Kerman loses one of his engines. We are just down to Adam Kerman in the one remaining healthy lynx. Missiles coming in. He's popping a shed load of flares to avoid it. Those aim nine X's really really can pack a bunch. But uh, it appears he's uh, he's done that, but he's lost all but one of his air intakes. And yeah, with that he can't get both engines going. And surprisingly enough, it appears our first our first links to be oh, I was about to say 
Our first links to be taken out might be the last to survive. <laughs> but uh, no, no, it's 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 in pieces. The sound bug kicks in just as the fight finishes. I can't find that other craft. I think that was a fairly convincing victory for the hacks. I mean, I don't think they've got a bullet hole on them. Yeah. Okay then, let's um, let's move on. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can up the challenge a little bit. So a convincing first test for the hacks, but you know, my design skills have never been exceptional. So I think to give this a, a bit more of a, a, a rounded challenge, we should probably go to a subscriber craft one that one that's impressed me in a, a recent mailbag stream. And for this, I'm going for the S1 Mark Seven C Watsman Two by Ben Aram. That's um. Let's see if this puts up some stiffer competition. Here we go again then. Josh Kerman right around. The uh, the lead hack didn't really have much luck getting its missiles away last time. Manages to get one away this time. Has a lot with the M9Xs. Gets the second one away. Plenty of missiles going up. I don't know why the M9Xs tend to do this wobbly spirally thing. I'm not sure if that... I'm not sure if I just need to update the model or something. But yeah, they do seem to be, as I've been saying, as I was saying in the previous fight, pretty effective. Uh, another thing to note, this is the first video I'm recording on my brand new graphics card. Like my brand new second-hand graphics card, if you see what I mean. So uh, thank you to patrons and everyone else who supported the channel for making that possible. Josh Kerman now really closing the distance. Will soon be within uh, soon be within gun range. Let's loose another... The a 9 is called Sidewinders as well? I'm not sure comes over the top. Doesn't look like those missiles have done much. Uh, Josh Kerman now has some sidewinders heading his way. We'll have to uh, pull over the top. Guns going in. Now my one worry about these is that, oh my god, one of the hacks has been hit by a has been hit by a sidewinder. That's not good news. They do have two Gowates as well. Which, oh, that's not what you want to happen. That's really not what you want to happen. You can see the two CCM jammers go flying there. Oh dear, Josh Kerman. The only remaining healthy hack. If, it, if one of them had crashed into one of the Watsmans, you know, that wouldn't have been too bad. It would still mean we... Uh, oh, actually two of them have crashed into each other. Uh, did, did it take both of them out? No, it didn't take both of them out. Not really a fair comparison. <laughs> Lego Lap Kerman trying, trying his best. Trying his best, but... Sadly, yeah, there was no coming back from that mid-air collision. <laughs> oh god, let's um, mm, let's move on. So a uh, loss against the Watsmans, uh, probably my own fault for altering the avoidance behaviour of these things in the AI, but uh, yeah, let that be a lesson. <laughs> um, anyway, we now move on to a craft where this sort of trick, these sort of hacks are a lot more common. I'm talking about the world of ASCU. Here we have the champion of Fighter Subscriber Season 3, Legged Lux P69GX Slapter 3. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of stuff that would not be allowed in um, in the uh, in the latest Fighter Subscriber rules, but I want to see how these get on and do my own craft stand the slightest chance against them. <sighs> Spoiler alert, I don't think they do. Let's, uh, let's get this one started. Okay, this will be interesting. Bardnan Kerman comes right around, it has a lock, not firing the missiles, now fires the missiles, gets two away, will soon start dodging. These slapters are set up to just fire a huge barrage of missiles, keep their opponents on the back foot. Um, oh my god, one of them's gone. One of them is pretty much, although these, these slapters are notoriously... Uh, uh, yes. Oh my god, one of the hacks is gone. Yeah, these are pretty resilient, uh, but the, those AIM-9Xs are finding the mark quite a lot. So yeah, maybe that, uh, that little thing with overpowered weapons is actually working a bit. The hacks are getting destroyed with missiles here. I think we've got one healthy slap. How many healthy hacks do we have? We have... Uh, oh no, Steve Kerman's craft is missing quite a lot of stuff. Uh, but it looks like he might be able to hold it. He's distracted with all the damage slapters. I don't know what to say. Oh my god. That one is not looking in the best of health. 
the one remaining healthy Slapter. Now, a healthy Slapter is a very, very dangerous thing indeed. We have one healthy Slapter, one healthy hack. <laughs> a lot of missile kills there. Oh my god, the hack is coming around. It is actually managing to uh, to pull some um, pull some maneuvers, get guns lined up. Although, will this uh, will this be? Oh no, missile coming in. Oh. About to say the slap to look to be lining up its guns, which was bad news for the um, bad news for the hack. Two hacks ganging up on this slap to Steak Kerman's Steak Kerman's heavily damaged, pulling a bit of a drift maneuver there. Steak Kerman's heavily damaged hack is still managing to get in there and actually pull some shots away. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. The slap to is heavily damaged. Adam Kerman comes around looking to finish the job. And I think he... No, he hasn't quite managed it. The Slapter is still just about hanging on in there. One engine remaining. <laughs> More gunfire coming in from both... <laughs> nearly another collision. Microsoft nearly, nearly snatching defeat from the jewels of victory there. Yeah, the, the hack's trying to come around and line up a shot. Oh my god, the slaps are losing more and more bits. Could this be, could this be a victory? I think it's the first time Minecraft will have won against the Slapters. Through a combination of um, overpowered missiles and all the tricks I've, uh, I've learned from, um, from the various craft I've been sent. Here comes the gunfight. <sighs> Survives from the pass. Oh, there we go. Just getting a smattering. Nothing fatal so far. Nothing fatal so far. Oh my god! That was beautiful. The Slapter loses its last engine. And the fight is done. I don't think... Does it have any weapons? It has no weapons left. Just falling towards the ground. The Hack's not happy with that. Still trying to put a little bit more damage onto the thing. But the... Uh, the fight is done. Adam Kerman's perfectly healthy hack. Steve Kerman's... <laughs> Not quite so healthy hack, but still controllable. Okay. So yeah, I think through a combination of all the, all the tricks I've mentioned and overpowered missiles, the hacks win that fight. Huh. So yeah, I think the point of this video is basically that the a craft I can make with all these tricks, all these little exploits, all these little hacks, is much, much, much better than any craft I can make without them. Without them. And of course, if I was to allow this sort of thing in Fighter Subscriber, it kind of quickly becomes a race to the bottom, hence why I don't. But ah, it's a nice craft, and finally I have something to, uh, to put up against some of the... Um, how am I going to phrase this? The more... It's an enthusiastic craft. I'm sent in the mailbag streams. Uh, oh, this one is actually missing a, a missile pylon. Huh. Anyway, yes, that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord. There's a great uh, KSP and BD Army community on there and more besides. Uh, all those links in the description. As are links to the PayPal and the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. You too can get your own... Um, own little Patreon curve like Adam Kerman here, as well as access to the Patreon Discord, uh, your name at the end of videos, uh, yada yada yada, usual stuff. Uh, I will be back soon with some more uh, BD Army, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.